Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your ninth jQuery tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to continue working on our chatbot. And as you know, in the previous tutorial, we add this feature um, <clears throat> so that we uh, do we perform the same action. Um, doesn't matter if a user clicks the send button or um, presses the enter key. So the same thing should happen if I uh, check the send on enter. And well, now you know currently this chatbot doesn't really look fun because we don't really see anything. And what we are going to do in this tutorial is something cool. We uh, want to uh, display the messages we enter right on this on the screen. So let's just go ahead and do that. Um, so. We want something to happen when the send button is clicked, so we'll uh, write our code within this within this uh, curly brackets within this function. Anyway, um, <clears throat> before we uh, empty the text box, by the way, we have to uh, save its contents to a variable. So I'll just create a variable. Um, I'll just call it user message and if you don't really familiar to JavaScript um, you can just memorize that v VAR stands for variable and it defines a variable and let's just set it equal to the text boxes value and make sure you get rid of this um, parentheses in the brackets otherwise uh, your code won't really do what we want to do all right, now we stored the contents of the text box before uh, emptying it. And now we want to uh, display this user's message uh, variables uh, content on the screen. And we have this container, which I called container in the previous tutorials. So let's just go ahead and select this element via its ID. And we can access to its HTML um, property, which means we just pretty much edit its contents. And in order to edit a div elements contents, you just just say HTML and write the contents in the parentheses, or you can use the variable like user message. So um, let's just uh, see what's happening. And make sure you guys reload the page every time you apply changes to your document. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, say this is a test. And as you see, uh, this is a test message appears right here, and the text box gets empty. But let's just say this is a second message, and you know the the first message is. Uh, uh, got lost pretty much and we and we don't want to have that we want to uh, have a new line and um, we actually want to uh, append the current current message not to uh, create I mean not to uh, rewrite the previous state so what are we going to do is uh, let's just uh, create a temporary variable for this display we just basically store every time uh, we hit enter. We have to store th this um, this contents to a variable. So I'll just create a variable before I r rewrite the its HTML property. I'll just say vr prev prev message or prev prev state is equal to a container dot HTML. And in jQuery, if you don't write anything into this uh, brackets, uh, you can access um, elements and elements property. But if you start writing here something, jQuery will uh, change its property. Well, it's very easy to memorize. And now, instead of uh, <clears throat> pasting the, the new message, which is user message, we can actually say new message. Well, I think it's um, it's a better name for a variable. 
instead of um, pass, pasting only the new message, we want to uh, apply the previous state as well. So I'll just say prev state and plus new message. And now you'll see what's going to happen. Uh, I'll just say this is the first one. Hit enter. This is the second one. And now you see uh, the, the messages are displayed in the same line and we need a line break pretty much. Just uh, If you're familiar to HTML you know that this BR tag stands for the line break. Now let's see what's gonna happen. Um, first message send second message send yeah so it does what it needs to but we don't want, want to have this new line um, before the first message and this is something we are going to fix in the next tutorial so uh, I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one